Okay, so Consensus was formed to, uh, around PSD2. Uh, we have, we recognize a gap in the market for people to understand TPPs uh, and if they're regulatory approved. Um, and we offer a simple plug and play API based solution to uh, confirm both uh, EI certificates and regulatory status. We do, we have, uh, we have a number of customers. Um, the ones I can talk about include uh, MoneyU in the Netherlands, part of uh, ABN AMRO Group and uh, Fidor Bank in Germany. So MoneyU, I could talk about MoneyU. They, um, Basically, they had a very small team, uh, six people who looked after the whole of their PSD2 projects. Um, they wanted a solution that, well, they wanted to exploit the whole of PSD2, uh, not just get bogged down in compliance. Um, and we gave them the bandwidth to support that. So we, we took care of the, the boring compliance part and then they can do all of the exciting stuff to add value to their customers. Um, I don't think they did. Um, Basically, they're a very small team. Their focus is about adding value, not getting bogged down in, in long development projects or regulatory compliance. Um, they surveyed the market and found that there was uh, commercial offerings out there, so that they went for the best they could find. No, they didn't. Uh, literally, they, they tested it within a couple of hours against our sandbox. Uh, they were very smart people, so they, they plugged into our sandbox and tested. Um, and then, they were live very quickly, uh, well in time for the, the, the mandated end dates of PSD2. Uh, they have, yes. They're, they're very happy with, uh, with both the product and the project. Uh, what we've done is enabled their team to focus on adding value to their business and, and growing their customer proposition rather than, uh, as, I, as I said earlier, getting bogged down. But also, um, the solution gives them uh, feedback on regulatory status in real time. So what they can do is onboard TPPs without building uh, a long, complicated onboarding process. Uh, this means that the TPPs come straight on board. Other banks have built uh, these onboarding processes and in, in the Netherlands, uh, that looks like it's an obstacle. And a lot of banks having to build, uh, well, that they're on waivers until they manage to build a more straightforward solution. So uh, when you got straight through that process, clean bill of health for the first time of asking, and now they're doing much better things. Yes, I mean, they, they came to us with a requirement, they fully understood what they needed to do, they knew the dates, um, and they, they went straight through the process, very clean, simple, and, and um, they're a big advocate for us. So, so what, what money you did, they, they were a startup culture within a big bank, so they had a very short reporting lines, very quick decision times, uh, plus the fact that they were culturally very closely aligned to, to Consentus, um, a simple plug and play solution meant there's a short implementation time. So the decision making process was very easy. Uh, you know, the implementation followed very quickly. Um, everyone was very happy with a, a swiftly concluded project. So um, yes, the, the, in terms of uptake for, for uh, the market, what we're, what we're finding is uh, a lot of other banks, they're, they're sitting on their hands. They're not seeing, they're, they're asking those questions like, you know, are there transactions in the market? What are the volumes? Is there growth? Uh, and, and the answer is yes, there is. You know, in the UK alone, uh, the transaction rates have grown from sort of less than a million transactions a month to now almost 150 transaction, million transactions a month. Um, Europe's a little bit behind the UK, but they're rapidly catching up, so the growth's going to be massive. Um, and similarly, we have numbers of TPPs are growing all the time too. So uh, we're seeing there's a 220 across Europe, but in the UK, at the moment, there are at least 300 in the process of getting the regulations approved.